Yeah, yeah. when I asked her, you know, did, could I use the bathroom? She said that, um, you know, bathrooms are for paying customers only. And that's just all she said. And I just said, okay. And I just kept walking to go sit down. Yeah. There was no, like, confrontation. Yeah, confrontation. There was no type of interaction after she came and asked us, you know, uh, did we want drinks or anything? And we, so, like, we told her that no. And then we just said we we're waiting for a friend. Um, for a meeting and that's it and then she walked away about five minutes after that maybe police were walking in we're not thinking anything of it we're not thinking anything we're not doing anything wrong so you know then when we feel we see the police walking towards us that's when we knew okay she called the police on us you know when you know that you did nothing wrong how do you really react to it there's two ways to react you can either be ignorant or you can show some type of sophistication and act like you have class. So we just decided to keep calm and just understand that this happens all the time, every day, everywhere. You go from being someone who's just trying to be a, you know, just an entrepreneur, a business person. You know, have your own dreams and aspirations, you know, things that you want to bring to the world and put to life one day. And then this happens, and now you're on a whole nother scale of make decision making, meaning. And it's like, what do you do? How do you handle it? Do you stand up? <clears throat> do you fight? Do you sit down and just watch everyone else fight for you? And it just showed us that although this happened to us, it affects everyone because every lot of, lots of us ha have went through these experiences. And you have people that never witnessed these experiences and they finally have witnessed them and now. It, it's still processing with me right now. Right. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? What to do, the right way to go about it. And that, that's why we're here. Um, because we do want to see change and make sure that it don't happen again. Because as we've been saying the past couple of days, you know, what if it wasn't us sitting there? What if it's somebody without resources but that's, that's there for a real reason still. Like, are they still in jail right now? Mm. Or what if it was no, are they even, do they make it to jail? Do they die? What happens? To Don't do something about it. What something like this truly is until you live it. Mm. Yeah. So and, even mm. for me, even knowing the possibilities and everything like that, it's still eye opening because it happened to me. Like, you know you're aware of it, but until it's you, you don't know. You, if that, you get what I'm saying? Like, yes. you don't know. Of course it does. Of course it affects you. Because now every time you see maybe a police, you know, you see cops, I'm sorry, we're dead, but you, maybe you see a police officer and now you're like, what is he going to do? Or are you just like, why is the cops here? Like, I just, I don't, I don't I'm not comfortable with you around. Or you like, say, you walk in that store and you know you're just being, you know, as a, someone acting like they're shopping just to see what you're going to do. If you're going to take something or they're assuming that you're about to steal or you and your friends are stealing just because of how you look or you like you can't afford this yeah right? that's just the type of world we live in we're very thankful for all the support but the reality is that somewhere in the world it's happening right now still and it's, it's still gonna be that way tomorrow so it's not something that's gonna happen overnight and it's not something that an apology is going to fix. It truly is action and not words and having them seats at the table because we do need that. Personally, I don't, I don't feel that a boycott is the answer, even though this is an event that takes us back to those times. Something else, we need a different type of action. It's not a time to be angry at all. It's a time to, to pay attention and understand what's really going on. And, and it happened to black people, but it's not just a black thing, it's a people thing.